Mother's Day is almost here. Why not get mom maybe a wearable tech gadget? Tech expert Shelly Palmer is here to give us some of his recommendations wearing Google Glass. Yeah, well, now everyone can have them. If you have $1,500 plus tax, you too can buy these for mom. It's wearable. It's not quite jewelry. It's not quite flowers. But it is absolutely the latest in wearable technology. So th these are your regular, like these are my, my regular glasses. So I can get this put onto yes. these glasses. Yes, now Google sells frames about six different styles. I have this as separate because these are my old ones. So these will this will come off and I don't have to look silly. But um, they do make them that are built into glass frames now and you can get prescription oh, lenses for them. These, the older style, actually have shades you can put in front of them so they could be sunglasses. But it's what's crazy. cool about this, what's super cool about about this is it takes your phone and it puts it in a heads-up display when you wear your Google Glass what you see out in front of you is all of the interesting stuff that would be on your phone directions you can take pictures take videos I think a lot of people know what Google Glass are at this point but what you may not know is that anyone can buy them just by going to google.com slash glass and uh, giving them your credit card they're selling them to the public now which they hadn't been for a long time mm. now of course other kinds of jewelry uh, I wear the Jawbone Up 24. A lot of people like these fitness bands, the fitness tracking wristbands. Uh, it's good because it'll count your steps, it counts your sleep, uh, it helps you basically lose weight and live a fitter life if you don't like the Jawbone version. Uh, Fitbit, although they did unfortunately recall the Fitbit Force because people were getting a funny rash from the from the band, uh, the Fitbit Flex is still out there and it's a very popular band. And the regular Fitbit, which can be put into a band, is I usually put this in my pocket. The problem is, of course, I tend to wash my jeans and then Oops. Oops, these are not. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really wash them. The Fitbit so. um, Force has a display, correct? The Jawbone yes. does not. The Jawbone doesn't, but now, very important, the Jawbone Up 24 used to only be iPhone. Now it's iPhone and Android, so okay. it's a really good thing uh, for anyone with any kind of phone. You can get it done. And then, of course, if you want to go hardcore, the Basis B1, this is a fitness tracking wrist watch, and what it's capable of doing is uh, not only all of the things that an Up can do, your steps and your sleep. Sleep. It also has a heart rate monitor in the back, so that's kind of fun if you want to know how your heart is beating. Wearable tech is going to be pretty popular this year. Apple's supposed to come out with the iWatch. When's that coming? Yeah, I nobody knows. Yeah, but Do we soon. think that's going to come this summer, perhaps. It's uh, look. Everybody's been talking about it happening any minute. I think June, July is probably realistic. What My will guess it do? is so. No one knows precisely because Apple is so secretive. But what everyone believes is that. And, and by the way, the, there was a rumor out last week that the new earbuds were going to have sensors for your heart rate and take your temperature. That's all silly. That was just a real made-up rumor. But it is going to be part of a comprehensive health tool set that Apple has been working on. We know that Apple's been hiring a lot of medical professionals, and they are trying to take this fitness and wellness to another level. Look, Apple does everything usually in a really big way. Mm -hmm. They know this is important, so I, I think you can look for something great in the Apple iWatch, but it's all rumors right now. We'll see. I still have doubts about really Google Glass becoming mainstream. Google Glass, we'll I don't think I don't really think this is a mainstream product, no. but it's super cool to use. And you, as far as taking pictures and videos, I think when they actually take that function out of these, people will start to accept them. Because right now, I right. just took your picture. Oh, I took it again. Oh, I took it again. Because I can blink and make it happen. That's that is creepy, really, and the, really creepy. And the creep factor gets a little crazy. But if they <laughs> well, actually took the camera out, you'd, it would be a fabulous heads-up display. Well, I also doubt, I mean, the issue with it being external like that, people, you know, riding on the subway, flashing a $1,500 device, it kind of, I, I don't know, I just think that it, it, it makes you maybe a target, too. So. By the way, everyone knows at this point that th there's legislation out there trying to make cell phones become bricks when they get stolen right. so that they mm -hmm. have no value. You're 100% right, but is this any really different than wearing a very expensive necklace or, or you know, your, your yeah. wedding so, ring? Yeah. I mean, you yeah, know, that's the, true. The, the, it, but but just having somebody, you know, sitting there across from you sitting on this the subway bench and just Blinking, you know, you don't know if he's taking <laughs> right. pictures of you and he's like right. some pervert or, you know, right. who knows? Right. May I take your picture? I don't need your permission. <laughs> like maybe the guy just has something in his eye and he's blinking at you. Shelly? Oh, it's good to see you. Thanks Happy Mother's much. Day Happy almost. Happy Mother's don't Day, <laughs> yes, don't forget.